Later, if you're looking on how to make a profile picture for YouTube and any, any other socials, well, I'm here to help you. We're gonna be going through step by step on making a profile picture for any of your socials. But yeah, let's get right straight into the video. Of course, before that, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you're new. It always appreciates a lot, just, just, it's just one click of it, so yeah. But anyways, so the first thing all you gotta do is open Roblox Studio. Once you have it open, you gotta click on base plate right over here. Once you have base plate open, you can you have to go to plug plugins and click on and you gotta install a plugin called Moon Animator 2. But yeah, for those who doesn't have it, it costs Robux. I am sorry, but for those who wants to install it, you can go to view, click on toolbox. And make sure it's uh, the plugins category and type in Moon Animator, or you might find it right over here. Just click on it. Apologize for that, but I hope you guys could get a click on character inserter. You might have these three options. You have to get the ID for your character. So go to Roblox, go to profile, and then copy your Roblox ID right over here. 15. So for me, we're gonna go for R15, just because it has a better, better for better quality. But anyways, now we're gonna click on Moon Animator. Now, we're gonna go ahead and click on New Rig Animation, and now we're gonna start posing our character. But for those who doesn't even know what's all the posing, uh, anything, all those po the posing about, but I'm gonna show you guys real quick. Red one is for the rotating up, which is the this one right over here. The blue one is rotating to the side, of course, but the one's rotating. The green one's rotating the other way. If you want to move, just press T R on your keyboard so you can move your. But once you're done posing your animation, click on your character display and right click on it. Yeah, I'll right click on it, and then click on export selection. And now you're gonna save it to your folder. Click on save on the folder that you saved and now you're gonna go ahead and install a software called blender if you don't even have it i would go ahead and go to blender.org you'll have to click on the download right over here go ahead and open it but before opening it i've listed a plugin that is called lightroom.blend this plugin is the it's gonna show the lightness for the characters so what i mean by that is just i'm gonna go ahead and click on file click on import right over here and click on wavefront this this rig is going to be in the description of the video if you're wondering and click on the character that you just exported right over here and for those who wants to move in blender uh make sure it's uh, you hold on the middle scroll of your mouse but if you want to do like this way of moving there's a navigation of that so just click on at uh, view actually the view navigation uh, walk navigation this one right over here right right click on it we'll say add shortcuts since i already have it so mine is shift f so whenever i press shift f i can move wherever i want like right over here but click on your character click this uh arrow right over here and move it to the position where you want i'm just gonna move it where in the in this area this is the box so over this box right over here right so this is where your your character is supposed to be okay and these panels are like the light it's gonna show the light of the character so if you want to go to the camera mode click on here it's already set for those who doesn't have it click on shift a on your keyboard at the same time and then click on camera right over here and then once you go on camera mode make sure just press shift up and your camera will be able to move and move it at the angle you want right over here once you're done with that if you want to see the preview of it click on this thing right over here the viewport rendering i believe uh this is how it's gonna look like so once it's perfect it's for you then you're gonna go ahead and go to the top left click on render and click on render image right over here you also have to wait for this little bar to go on to finish once it's finished you can go ahead and click on image and save as there you click save as image save as and now you're gonna go ahead and save it at your folder so i'm just gonna call this whatever i want now we're gonna click on as save as image and then now you're officially done with the rendering part. The next thing you got to do now is open Photopea, link in the description for the website or you can just search it in google photopea.com But once you've op opened Photopea, this is what it's going to look like Click on new project, we're going to go ahead and change the weight to 800 And the height also to 800 And make sure the background, you can, also, you can set it to transparent But in my case, I usually set it to transparent And this is what it's going to look like 
So, so all you gotta do now is add in your character. Once you've got your character in from your folder, we're just gonna go ahead and rotate the character right over here. And just go ahead and scale it to the right position on how we want it to be. And if you want to zoom out and zoom in, for it, make sure you go ahead and press Control plus to zoom in, Control minus to zoom out. So there we go. The character, click image, go to image, go to adjustments, and we're gonna go ahead and go to here with saturation and change the saturation to a little bit higher. This will create like an like a more detail effect for the character, which will make it so that it looks a little bit better for your profile picture, just a little bit. But once you're done, click on OK, and this is how it's going to look like. So now, let's go ahead and unlock the background layer. And we're just going to go ahead and click on the paintbrush and set it to higher. And we're just going to change the color to white. OK to exit, then we're just going to go, go back to paintbrush and just cover this layer. Just add a little background. But one now, because we're going to do that so we, so we can add in a gradient overlay. And I already set the, the gradient color, so click for if you don't have it set. You can just set it to minus blue, or you're going to click on the left side and click on this, and then you change the color and click OK, and basically that's it. Same with this side, you click on it, and then you click OK. So once, so I'm already done, character, double click to the blending option, right over yeah, right here, and add in a drop, a drop shadow, and make sure it's set to learn a dodge. And change the color to uh, like like for me I'm going for wood blue this is gonna add in this is gonna create a, an overlay effect for the layer and to add in the inner glow this is also gonna add in the inside it's gonna also create an inside glow effects it's gonna look pretty cool for the pro for the character so yeah but let's create we're gonna create a new layer and once you create the new layer click control and click on this part of the of the bottom character layer so and now we're gonna go ahead and just fully cover off with the paintbrush make sure it's set to high of course and once that's done set the normal mode to overlay and then we're gonna change the opacity to like the lowest so it's gonna add a little bit brightness to it you can just adjust it however we want to just play around with the settings as of course and we, now we're just gonna go ahead and click on the layer and press control and click the down layer right click and merge layers and this is gonna merge the layers so we can move the layers together. This Photoshop has that photo P has a problem, but we're just gonna add the drop shadow inner glow, just the same thing we added back. And also I did forgot to mention that uh also I did forget to mention that we have to go to before that we have to go to filter and go to camera raw. And yeah, we have to change the this we're gonna change the saturation to 27 and then click OK. But now we're gonna fill up the background. But before that, all of these stuff are gonna be linked in the description of the video. Like all of these, like what I meant is all of these kind of stuff. All of these will be linked in the, in the description. So first let's go ahead and once you open this this background right here, just the sun ray, right click and copy, copy and the copy image and press control V to paste in. Okay? Control V to paste in, that's the shortcut. And then we're gonna put it at the middle and then make sure it's behind the character. Double click on it, add a drop shadow. This this one we're gonna change this to white. The inner glow. The inner glow we change to this to uh white. And then we're gonna add in a color and make sure that's also white. Then we're gonna click OK. And that's gonna create a more lighter effect for the for the behind the the characters of course next we're gonna add in this arrow shape which is also link in the description which is of course and we're just gonna drag it behind the character and right over here we're just gonna rotate this and make sure we scale it to the right angle we're just gonna go ahead and rotate and scale it to the right angle next we'll set the mode to overlay this is all this is gonna change the color to overlay types so now we're gonna add in the this one right over here scroll all the way down and we go all the way to this over here and yeah and put it right over here make sure the layer is visible so you can see it right over here if you if you don't enable this then it's different so you can't see the layer so yeah but now you can see the layer make sure this mode is set to screen when you download when you're trying to download the two of those images right over here make sure this set to screen mode this right this mode right over here but once that's done you can change the opacity of course the next run right over here we're gonna click on this add it back to over here same with this one this one is also this one's also the uh screen mode so we're just gonna make sure 
We can also rotate it just to make it so that it's in the correct position. And we can also make sure the boat is screen mode. That's of course when you're trying to download it and add it to Photopea. And you can also change the opacity. We're just going to change it right now a little bit. Right over here. I think that will look great. So yeah, there we go. We're also going to select this layer right over here. This one right over here. We're going to right click on it and make sure it's clipping mass. What this will do is it will connect the layer so that... It doesn't really need to go anywhere with it, so it doesn't really like move around somewhere else and all that kind of stuff. But we're just gonna click on this layer and click on those. To make sure to control to click the second layer, hold control to click the second layer, and we're just gonna rotate it to and scale it a little bit. Then it'll look pretty much a little bit better. At least the last thing we're gonna do from now on is double click the main character and add in this uh, option right over here, Bell and Impulse. This is gonna add in also more a little bit more details as you can see like a little bit stuff is happening right now. So we're just gonna change it a little bit. Just we just gonna change. We mainly have to change the size and the depth if you want to, but mainly I'm just gonna change the size. There we go. But of course, once you're done, click OK. But yeah, we're officially done with the profile picture. But now we're gonna go ahead and save the image by clicking on file on the top left by the way. Well, file, export as, and PNG click on those. We can name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna name it whatever I want. For all of these settings, you don't really need to carry uh, unless the quality is like lowest. You can just set it to like, you know 100% because that's the thing we need mainly need to set it on. And then we're gonna go and click on save and save. And there we go. Open the picture, the profile picture right over here where we just saved. And here we are. This is the profile picture. And congratulations, you have officially made a Roblox profile picture. Congratulations for make for making this part of the video but yeah but if you have any questions to ask any problems or anything please of course refer them to the comments and we'll try and i'll try my best to reply to them as soon as possible but yeah and i'll see you guys on the next video anyways take care and peace